it's Shannon. Welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. Fall is actually my most favorite season of all to decorate our front porch for, so I've really, really been looking forward to this. Today, I'm gonna bring you along with me as I decorate the porch. I'll share with you all of the accessories that I'll be using, and then you'll get to see a full tour of it when it's all finished. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so first let me show you what I bought new for this year. First is this doormat that's from Target. I have a new wreath from Hobby Lobby. Actually, a lot of this stuff is from Hobby Lobby. Um, this sign, the hay bales, uh, this big sign, these florals, those are all from Hobby Lobby, along with these two stools down here. This amber vase is from Target. This rug that I'm gonna layer underneath the doormat is from At Home. This basket is from Joann's and then the orange things in there, those are pillow covers. Those are from Amazon. Anything that I use from Amazon, I will link down in the description box. So that's all new stuff. This is all stuff I already had. So I have cushions for the chairs. Those I just washed so they're fresh. We have pillows. Those are the ones that are gonna re-slip covered. And this rug I already had. I'm keeping these kind of as an option in case I don't like the pillow covers in that rug. <laughs> so those are all three from Amazon as well. I have a lantern from Walmart. Actually, that lantern is from Walmart. And a metal plate. So the metal plate and these cushions were from Kirkland's. And then I have a bunch of stuff outside too. So let's go outside and I'll show you. All right, so I just have these sitting up here. That's not how they're gonna stay. These little guys are from Walmart, but everything else is from a local farm that we are friends with. So the moms and all of the pumpkins back here. This is actually stuff from our wedding. So some lanterns, some handmade crates. This uh, planter back there is actually from Hobby Lobby in their spring. So we use that for water bottles at the wedding. And I'm gonna use it for a planter out here for the fall. And then over here are some corn stalks. And this is just like a blank look of what it looks like. All right, so let's get to decorating. So I am starting over here in the little seating area on the porch and adding my cushions and the wood sign. Now you'll see a little bit later on in this video that I actually end up having to undo all this and you'll see why shortly, but I just layered a placemat, my metal plate along with my amber vase and added those stems. I love these stems that are in their fall section at Hobby Lobby. And then I added the orange cushions from Amazon onto the backs of the chairs as well. I would love to hear the theme that you have for your front porch or even just your front door or entryway. Whether you have sunflowers or lots and lots of pumpkins or kind of a mix like I do of mums and pumpkins and all of the natural elements, I would love to hear how yours is though. So leave those down in the comments below. I love to read all of your comments. Now moving over to the front door area, I did end up going with that new rug and layered my doormat on top of it. Next, I started adding the height that I needed for both sides. So I have those crates first, and then I have a tall bucket with a mom on it, and I balanced it on the other side with one of my stools and another mom. Then moving over to the right side, I added one of my hay bales. This is another way to add height to your space and my tall wood sign over there. The stool also adds height where I needed it. And then I started working with the pumpkin. So I always work on my front door area first and then all of the leftover pumpkins get put on the front steps. That way I know my nicer pumpkins kind of get front and center at the front door. And usually those are the more expensive pumpkins. So I like those to really kind of have their own space instead of just being out on the porch where the weather can get them. 
And then I also added my planter into that back corner and added a mum to that as well. Then I start working on adding the corn stalks to the front posts of the porch. I was really, really excited about this because I had never actually decorated with corn stalks before. So this was not difficult to do at all. I just basically took one of the bundles, split it in half, and then took the stalks and tied them to the posts with some jute. And I just tied them in three different spots to make sure they weren't gonna go anywhere and cut off the tails of the jute just made a whole big difference to kind of make a nice entryway to the front porch off of the steps. Then I was able to use all of the leftover mums and pumpkins to kind of make a display on the steps. Again, I also am using lanterns, the same ones that you'll see up by the front door. When you use elements like this that are the same and you kind of spread them out throughout your space, it's a great way to tie your whole look together. So as I was looking for accessories for the porch, I actually came across this rug that was supposed to go in the she shed at one point, but then I had changed my mind, so it sat in the basement. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's an outdoor rug, and I decided to see if I actually liked it on the porch for this fall display or not. And when I brought it out there, I actually really, really loved it. It was the perfect size, and it just kind of gave an extra bit of texture and coziness. So I decided to go ahead and use it, but as you can see I had to sort of undo a lot that I had already done but it wasn't that big of a deal I just kind of moved things off and then repositioned them back onto the rug And last but not least, I always hang my wreath on my front door last. I'm not sure why, I just kind of feel like it is the last little missing piece to this puzzle. So I wanna give you a full tour. I always enjoy watching tours without all of the talking and chit chat. So I'm gonna let you guys just sit back and relax and enjoy this. I will mention though that at the end of this video, I will have a link to last year's porch tour. So if you want even more inspiration, stay tuned for that. And I will have that linked on the end screen. Enjoy.
If you enjoyed this porch tour, I would love to have you give this video a thumbs up for me. That helps my channel so, so much. If you haven't yet, I would love to have you subscribe as well so you can stick around for weekly DIYs, tutorials, and brand new inspiration. Make sure to hit the bell and select all so you're notified when all these new videos go live. And I'll also have that last year's fall porch tour popping up on your screen so you can check that out next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.